Uh, here's uh, the uh, leadership speaker and author and broadcaster and futurist, Mal Fletcher. Happy New Year, yeah, Mal. It's good to talk to you. Um, this uh, Britain isn't um, your first home, is it? Uh, in other other countries you've lived in the world, is is debt as as much a way of life as it is here? Well, um, morning, David, and happy New Year to you. I'm Australian originally. I've lived in Denmark and now the UK. So. It isn't always the same problem, say, in Scandinavia as it is in, say, Australia or the UK. Um, But I think in most of the developed world, there's a factor coming into play now we haven't seen before at all, and that is the problem of what I call digital debt. Um, In June of last year here in the UK, we saw debit card transactions overtake cash for the first time. Uh, In October, in-store contactless payments overtook chip and pin. So cash is no longer king in this country, David, and our use of card is also changing dramatically. Add to that the fact that the cryptocurrency Bitcoin reached its 10th birthday last week and begin to see the size of challenges cash is facing in our economy. And that matters to debt because if you remove the weightiness of cash, we encourage people to spend more without thinking about it first. Cash is messy, it's inconvenient, but at least you can feel it leaving your pocket. What's interesting is that we have a generation now and in many ways commerce and consumerism is built on this idea of having things today and paying them for tomorrow, whether it's homes or cars. I mean, if you think of the, just thinking about the, the a motor trade uh, a, a business, very few people own a car outright with these PCP and, and various deals. Most cars, again, are bought on borrowing, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And there was a recent report that backs up what you said about younger folks, um, millennials, and I'm not down on millennials, a big supporter of millennials, but they often have challenges apparently with budgeting because their entire experience of money is with cards, contactless payments, and yes, own today, pay tomorrow. Um, it's also very, very easy to spend using digital tools, and it's, it's emotionally addictive. We know about the impact of dopamine now on the way our brains work as we use things like social media and online shopping. Little dose of dopamine, which gives me a feeling of pleasure, is part of the buying experience. And I get it online, even if I'm only spending a few pounds on a movie to rent. So, you know, you keep doing that long enough, and those small increments become very large amounts of money. Really interesting points. Thank you very much, Mal.